is on. Sag, how are you? Sag is my favorite group. Hi, Sag. You know why Sag is my, my hair is, you know, I did energy work today. And if you look at Gemini's video, my hair looks great. And then I did a lot of energy work. It's called IET. Why am I telling you? This is not a, listen, doesn't matter. Sag. <laughs> Why am I telling you what I did today? It's so rude. Hi, Sages. How are you? You know, Sages have turned into my favorite groups. I'm sorry to say that, people. Um, because I find that metaphysical Sages are amazing people. And so all of my Sages have turned me around. Because I have mommy issues, but... I'm telling you, you Sagges have turned me around. I find that Sagges are one, some of the kindest people in the metaphysical world. So, Sag, I'm going to blow this out the water. Just for you guys. Please email me at PsychicTracyBrown. All right. Ah. Please email me at psychictracybrown at yahoo.com. Ah, I would start the video over, but I'm not going to because it's all about energy. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please email me. Um, one is twice. Two. Please, God, talk to me. Three. Four. Five. Six. Let me see something. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right, Sages, what's around Sages? So looking at the last card, uh, Sages, looking at the last card, there's a decision. There's a decision that's gonna be struck down. There's a decision. Love is the most important thing for Sages for the month of May. So those of you that are looking for love, trying to find love, trying to invest in love, trying to keep your relationships intact it is your focus for the month of may so do everything that it takes fight and do everything that it takes because many sages are in genuine genuine relationships okay children matter there is some concern i knew it there is some concern about a decision that could hurt you sag okay some concern about a decision that could hurt you um, also, be careful of fighting too hard. Be careful of that too. Be careful of, you know, that you all need to be right. I'm right, you're wrong. <laughs> Remember, I'm right, you're wrong. You know, that's like a Sagittarian mantra. A Leo's mantra is, I'm always right. <laughs> and Aries are probably the fairest of us all. Um, just kind, good-hearted people, Aries are uh, a little stubborn, but that's neither here nor there. Um, Sag is, oh, one is twice. So one, yeah, two, three, oh, good, 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 four. Okay, good, guys, the energy changes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, nine, ten. Okay, let's see now. Okay, decision is going to be rendered that will be in your favor. A decision will be rendered for Sagittarius that will be in your favor. Because one was twice. I pulled 11 cards, one was twice. So when I shift the cards, it looked much, much better. So whatever I saw in terms of pain and heartache might come from something... But it will not last long because this will change to, in your favor. Or you will make it change in your favor. And that's the bottom line here. That's what you all are going to go on. Uh, changing 
anything to your favor, you can do it. Okay, children matter. A decision is coming, but I got the decision is coming based upon this. This is not a man or a woman. This is a idea or a concept and kind of like a judge or or the gauntlet where you chop off the head someone wants to make a decision that's what i got with this however with the swords the ace of swords it kind of means the same thing ace of swords means strife conflict um indecision i want i want i want but will not last long uh, that's what I love about the Ace of Swords. It's not even chaos. Chaos can linger and make people feel completely crazy. This is, I want this, and the other person goes, I want that. And then the other person goes, oh, oh no, you don't. And then this one goes, oh, excuse you. But it doesn't get to stay. A decision has to get rendered. Sagittarians, you win. Because children matter. Children matter all right um not that sagittarians are going to be a little sneaky about winning you know sagittarians always got something up their sleeves and you're gonna win because you're gonna pull out you know everything things you've been saving on to you're gonna be like oh well i well actually <laughs> and then you know, all I can say is Sagittarius, you will win. Now, whether or not you win because you pull something out of your sleeve to win, or whether or not you win because uh, you pull out the record books or you use the children, don't really matter to me, but you will win. <laughs> Period. Again, I really get family matters. Family matters. I really get that. That's, that's the Sagittarian mantra this month. There is something work-related coming through, and I feel like it's big or a well-established company that's well-established in the industry or something like that, not a pop-up store or, you know, or online store. Um, money will get better, not in the month of May, but it could get better because job gets better, something like that. It's almost like you can finally buy a good bottle of wine, something like that. I wish I could buy a good bottle of wine right now. But Sagittarians, you guys worry regardless. Out of all the fire signs, Sagittarians are the worriers. So, stop worrying so much and maybe pray on it and not worry to this extent. Again, I keep getting children matter. Um, watch your money or, you know, save the money. Maybe not watch it. Save some money here. There's a couple, a couple. They, they're they not fire signs, by the way. This, this couple is not fire signs. I'm showing you fire signs. That's not what I mean. I mean, there's a couple that you know, Sagittarian, that is almost identical. Almost identical. It's almost like, God, they look alike. Or, God, they act alike. And you know them. Um, and then there's this energy around them, all right? And it's like maybe weird emotions about them or weird money issues about them. And somehow this couple is coming into your life. I don't think you're going to like it, per se. The Sagittarians are very independent people. It's a lot of people around Sagittarians, a lot. You know, there's this air sign person around your job that might have a secret agenda against you. There's a water sign person that looks very hopeful in the beginning, but you slowly see, begin to see that there's some sneakiness and you're kind of like wondering what this is all about. Um, um, be very, very mindful uh, moving forward. Um, of these people because there seems to be new that's what it is. seems to be new people around you Sagittarian and you're not really good with new people although you're very outgoing but you kind of uh, you, you think someone 
or, or most everyone might have an agenda and you're very protective of your family. So all these new people, you're kind of sizing them up. Not a bad thing, and it's not really judging. It's kind of more like using your intuition and sizing them up, and I would say do it. I would say do it. You're a lover of your family, and that's all that matters, Sagittarians, to you. So there's just some weird energy coming through. It's, none of it is bad, by the way. None of it is bad. I think there's going to be some new experiences and some new people, and you have to navigate through all this newness. And so don't be afraid of all this new people, but, you know, I wouldn't invite them to my house, you know, right now. They're new, you know? I wouldn't go out on a couple's date with, you know, with new people. They're new. Um, how much time do I have? Let me do one quick spread for, for, for Sagittarians. One quick spread, one quick one. I feel like I'm doing a personal reading here, actually which is weird. I never really get that. But, you know, I'm starting to favor Sagittarians. What can I do? I'm starting to favor them. Thank you, Sagittarius. Two, three, four, five, six. Because I actually think many of my Sagittarian seven has helped me with my mommy issues. Eight. And God has a way of auto-correcting things for you. Um, and I'm always open for, you know, resolving issues, even though my mom has passed on. But a lot of Sagittarians have helped. Sagittarians, stop worrying about money. Money. Stop. 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 Something's coming. A decision is going to be rendered. Um, be careful of so much fear that you ruin things in the long haul. Okay? Be careful, Sagittarians. There is going to be some sort of sacrifice. There is, there is, and it's either a sacrifice or a fight because you don't want to make the sacrifice. Compromise. Compromise, that's the key. Compromise. I have many, many Sagittarians out there. I'm not going to let you all fail in your marriages. It will not happen, not with me. I believe in the power of love. I believe in the power of relationships. And because I do understand fire people, I will not let you all fail. I will call you out and I will stop you. And we are going to keep our relationships intact, Sagittarians, okay? So, there is some sort of compromise here. There is some sort of putting your tail between your legs, but I do want you to understand, Sagittarians, it's a win-win for you regardless. It's a win-win for you. So your perception might be off, but it's still a win. Okay. Call me for your own personal readings. Trace, Psychic Tracy Brown at yahoo.com. Thank you, guys. Bye.